What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy from Stay Snatched. And today we're making a homemade seafood pot pie. I love to use seafood with this recipe, but you can certainly add some chicken, turkey, whatever you like. This crust is tender, flaky, and delicious. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna make my homemade creamy sauce mixture here using one cup of chicken broth. I have a saucepan on medium high heat. Then I'm gonna add three fourths cup of milk, any milk is fine, along with one fourth cup of flour, one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then some salt and pepper to taste. You're gonna let that simmer on your stove for about eight minutes and continue to stir that so that it thickens up and you want all of the flour to disintegrate in there. Then I have a teaspoon of olive oil in a skillet on medium high heat. I'm gonna add eight ounces of lobster meat along with five ounces of raw shrimp that I've cut up into one inch chunks. I'm gonna also add some salt and pepper. We're gonna cook this for three to four minutes on both sides. Then I'm gonna add in eight ounces of lump crab along with 10 ounces of frozen mixed veggies. I'm gonna give everything a nice good stir. And then we're gonna grab our cream sauce mixture. I'm gonna pour that in here. Give everything a nice good stir. Then I'm gonna grab my cast iron skillet. You can also use a nine inch pie plate. And I have about a teaspoon of olive oil that I'm gonna rub onto the bottom and along those edges. This is to make sure our pot pie doesn't stick. And this is a refrigerated pie crust. I'm just gonna pat this down into the bottom. I'm also gonna, you know, secure it along the sides all as well. Then we're gonna pour in our pot pie filling. Go ahead and spread that about. Then I'm gonna add another pie crust. So I have another pie crust, refrigerated pie crust that I'm gonna top this with. And then to seal the edges, I just like to use the back of a fork and I make crinkles throughout the top of that crust. Then you wanna make some slits into the top of that pot pie crust. This is so that the steam can escape from that pot pie. If you don't do this, and you're gonna end up with a really soggy pie crust on the bottom. And then I combined one egg along with two tablespoons of water to create an egg wash. And this is an optional step. You just wanna brush the top of that crust. It'll get the crust a nice golden brown look. Then we're gonna bake that in a 375 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes until that crust has browned. Then you wanna let this cool for at least 10 minutes before you slice into it. And once you do, look at that. Seafood Popeye. 